Okay, so now, at this point, uh, Grunt 45 is a, a tried and tested vehicle. It just was, unfortunately, we did not record any of the tried and testing, but on the plus side, I don't really know how many Kerbals were, just went to flaming death. So, you know, if I, if I knew how many, then that would be extra sad. Now, what I'm going to do, I bet you we're going to do the fast forward business, is I'm going to take this thing. Unfortunately, at, at, at this point in development, Kerbal Space Program does not have the ability to just uh, import a whole assembly. So I'm actually, I'm going to have to rebuild all of uh, XCart 4. I'm going to attach it to the nose of this thing. So, yeah, I'm probably, be, I'm going to take this and I'll just stash this down in the ground where it's out of the way. And yeah, we'll do the fast forward thing and I'll put the airplane together. I've put this airplane together so many times by now. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, there's X cart 4 minus any engines minus any extra fuel tanks. So let's put all that extra junk on there now, huh? I think at this point I'm going to go ahead and attach the thing to Grunt. I don't have a good name for the whole vehicle assembled. Let me see. Usually whenever I start moving things around, some of these struts break. Let me take a look. It amuses me that the wingspan is actually wider than the entire vehicle assembly building. So that the wingtips... Oh wow, these struts actually all stayed together. How about that? Yeah, so, yeah, the wingtips are actually colliding with the wall over there on the left. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, I'll tell you what, let's strut this thing. Let's, yeah, let's strut, let's strut my X cart to the vehicle. Oh, oh, that's right, I forgot, I had these, I already had these little pieces of struts down here ready. Okay, okay, this works. Now, of course, you may notice the one consequence of, of designing it this way is that whereas previously I had uh, an engine back here, that's not going to work if, I'm, if I've got a decoupler sticking in that thing right there. So, I have to do something else different with the engines. I was using this thing, the Hercules 2, total mass 3, max stress 300, burn rate 13. Uh, I've done a little bit of playing around looking at some of the, my other options here. What is this? The KW SLR Wildcat 5. Total mass 1, max thrust 140, burn rate 5. What this tells me is that if I had two of these Wildcats, it would have slightly less thrust than one Hercules, but it would also have less mass and a lower burn rate. Since these things, since these engines are going to be used almost exclusively uh, in outer space, I don't really need a whole lot of thrust. I'm not overcoming a huge gravity well here. I mean, they'll be used in space, they'll be used to also to get away from the moon, right? So let's just use those guys. Okay, yeah, so uh, at launch, first thing that happens is uh, my C7, all four of my C7 jet engines ignite. Um, also, my uh, my two rocket engines on the orbiter ignite. Next thing that happens is the central uh, EFSRB ignites, and then my two pairs of smaller SRBs. I've got those staggered, so you know it doesn't just hit it with a sledgehammer of all the acceleration all in just the same one second. 
It actually has a little bit of time. Okay, now, um, let me see, do I want to put my fuel lines on here first or do I want to put my struts on first? I think I want to put my struts on here first, then I'll route my fuel lines around it. That makes more sense to me. So, of course, what is the next step? Fuel lines. It's um, one of this. I mean, I can't. Now I feel bad. I don't remember his name. One, one of the one of the viewers had a comment. He had a great idea, uh, which was since I'm, you know, my my rules are I'm not allowed to to use the 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 fuel that's inside of the C7 fuselage parts uh, to, to power my rocket engines. He says, why don't I route fuel lines and actually drain those things during launch so that they'll be empty, they'll be lighter weight, and I'm not just carrying dead weight around through the whole moon mission and back. And it's a, it's a brilliant idea. So yeah, let's do that. Actually, first, first, let's, okay, my tip tanks are going to be getting fuel from the over and under tanks. I was very happy the most recent update just came out today. We're running the the most uh, the, the most recent experimental version. Uh, they've changed the the routing of the of the fuel line. So now you click first on where the fuel is coming from, then you click where it's going to. Previously it was backwards. I believe that this way is significantly uh, more intuitive. Makes a lot more sense. Okay, okay, so yeah, the tip tanks, they get the fuel from the four over and under tanks. And I want the four over and under tanks to get their fuel from um, the Grunt 45's over and under tanks. So that while this thing is, uh, so that it's going to be, while this thing is burning through through uh, through launch and takeoff, it's going to be topping off its tanks from this massive fuel supply that Grunt is carrying around. That's like calling it Grunt. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Grunt. Oh, hang on. Did I do this backwards? I'm looking at the arrows and the fuel. Oh, I think I hooked these up. See? I, that was, I got confused. I just hooked all this stuff up backwards. I imagine some people were probably screaming at their monitors at me about that. And they might be... You'll, you'll be both happy and disappointed to see that I caught the mistake before launching. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
that we're going to get an orbit out of this. Come on. We have to. So X cart 4 will finally become Ox cart 4. And we can stop calling it X cart all the time. Is, is something see funny here? Oh, I thought I saw something was unattached. How, how did that thing? I mean, it's too tall. It couldn't even get out the door. <laughs> it's too big. Okay. Precision control is on. Wow, I'm, I'm actually kind of nervous right now. This this is the the first time I've had the whole system all put together. Like my launch vehicle and the actual... I mean, I had a couple like little mock-ups that I'd trade just to see if it, something that size would 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 get would fly, but... This is it. This is the moon mission, guys. This is it! Alright, alright, enough stalling. Let's do it. So, okay, got a good launch. Um, this thing likes to yaw. You have to really pay attention to the yaw a lot. Let's move my camera over so that makes sense. Pull back some. Okay, that's good. It's good. We got a good, solid, good burn going. Notice that I have, I've never yet even attempted to turn the SAS on with, with, um, with Grunt 45. I'm kind of scared of what'll happen if I do that. I've had enough problems with the thing just snapping in half uh, just by handling it too roughly, just with, you know, just with the jo uh, manual controls, the joystick. Okay, getting up here, let's turn RCS on. We've got RCS ports both on the orbiter and on Grunt 45. Let's not be getting too horizontal yet. Let's keep going up at an angle. There's 20,000. Another 10,000, I have to shut down the liquid engines. Oscillating around some. There's 25. We're moving in a hurry, guys. 29, here's 30. And now we're just on the solid boosters. Ooh. We're wobbling around some. Wobbling around some. Let's just keep going. Okay. Okay, okay, there we go. Um, let's now, okay, now let's go for a detach. Let's thrust forward some. Get some distance from that. Okay, good. Actually, need to turn RCS off now. I don't really think I need that for this. Let's get this thing centered over here in the direction of travel. Careful, careful, gentle. Turn SAS on, lock it in place. Let's take a look at that map. Okay, my apoapsis is up here, 138, 138 kilometers. We stayed pretty horizontal. That's good. Don't have to do any correction there. I was afraid we'd be wandering too far to the north or to the south. Okay, okay, 138. So I'm just gonna. Sit tight, and I'm, I'm gonna do another burn once we get it up there. So we a little bit before 138. Say once I get up to, let's give it five. Let's give it to 133, which we are fast approaching. It's fun. Oh, this game is fun. See that we did a launch and hard, nothing blew up at all. Nothing broke off. I sort of I do regret um, not recording the the development process of Grunt 45 because I don't know it, it, it could have been some fun I, I I I put my money I put my money on the wrong horse you know um, I, I realized that if I was if I was recording the the both both the 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 mothership design and Grunt 45 at the same time then. Uh, it'd just be ridiculous. It'd be, the series would drag on forever. It'd be hours and hours and hours. Because I, I think all total was like six hours worth of development that went, in, went into that thing. I don't know how many Kerbals died. A lot. <laughs> okay, 32. Let's do it. 
Uh, tab, shift my target to Kerbin. We'll see how this works. Okay, we've got some progress. There's that arc opening up some. Uh, let's try to get centered again. Uh, my thrust is not balanced. I can see as I turn that SAS off, the thing tries to yaw to the left. It's okay, I can make it work. We're still more or less... Yeah, we're still pretty horizontal. I like that. Slightly, slightly to the north. But not bad. Nothing worth being concerned about. Okay, this is working. Center that thing again. Here we go. Apple is up there. Still 158. Climbing. I'm actually. We'll get that periapsis out of the planet and then I'll shut it down. There's periapsis. Okay, shut it down. I'll wait till I get to apoapsis again and I'll bring the periapsis up higher. How much fuel we got left? Okay, we haven't even used half of our. of what's in our over and under tanks. Yeah, this is gonna work. This is gonna work, guys. I don't know, it's still too early to tell. Will I have enough fuel to to actually go for the landing this time? Or am I gonna have to do like the Apollos did, do a do a close flyby first? We'll find out.